unfortunately, mosquito season started earlier this year, but there is another pest in town. It's the gnats. No, not the Washington Nationals. We were talking about the pesky insects. Jennifer Delgado joining us with this story. Jen, uh, not what I want to hear because I'm already uh, dealing with mosquitoes. What else do we need to worry about? out by the bugs. Yeah, you're freaked out by the insects. And we're out here right now in the Woodmont Triangle, and there are a lot of gnats around us right now. And it's not your imagination. They're out a lot more. They first emerged in April, just like the mosquitoes. And what we're seeing now is the eye gnats, or gnat season, is actually starting sooner and lasting longer, just like mosquito season, because of the warmer climate. So we're outside right now. A lot of people are enjoying the nice weather. They're sweating. They're enjoying the nice things. But the problem is is gnats actually enjoy those type of things as well. Now, we caught up with a local entomologist with the University of Maryland, and you may be surprised exactly what attracts those gnats. Yeah, well, these particular gnats are attracted to tears. They're also attracted to perspiration. So if you're outdoors and you have a little bit of watery eyes because of the wind, if you're perspiring, this is going to attract those gnats. So those are the things they're after. These particular gnats that come to your eyes, uh, they're called eye gnats. And yes, indeed, they can carry certain important diseases, one of which is pink eye conjunctivitis. Yeah, you heard it, pink eye. Well, what happens are those gnats actually land on some of uh, livestock or cattle, and then they can land on you and potentially give you pink eye. Now, we're showing you a live view out here. Uh, this is actually showing you a water source. Now, gnats are attracted to water source as well as organic material, like what you would see in your garden. Now, how can you, you know, kind of fight these gnats and these insects? Well, here's the deal. You do it just like you would with a mosquito. If you have a hat, you can spray some uh, insect repellent on the brim of your hat. That'll help to distract the uh, the gnats. And then you can also put on some sunglasses. And in worst case scenario, you can also order one of those hats with the netting on it, and that'll help block some of the gnats when you're out gardening. Or you can also throw on some sunglasses. I know, Sharon, you're probably freaked out by the whole idea of getting pink eye from gnats. I didn't know anything about it, but I tell you this. Gnat season is here. It's worse than ever, and it's going to last longer. So we need to prepare to deal with the gnats and the mosquitoes. What more can we deal with right now in 2023? I just need a full-blown full outfit, you know, when I go you wanna, outside. You want a hazmat suit, yes, don't I you? you want a hazmat suit for suit. me and my baby. Uh, I feel like there's some stuff flying around you I right now. I don't know.